so hello friends uh welcome to the current affairs based mcqs by snias academy now this is for the day may 27th 2021 and uh, we do have a telegram channel if you want a pdf of all these mcqs now so you'll have to search for current affairs by dr uh, jk in uh, the telegram group okay for the pdf of all these current affairs based mcqs so welcome friends uh, to sn ias academy now uh, so this is current affairs based by sn ias academy hello friends Uh, welcome to this video on current affairs based mcqs by snis academy now this is for the day uh, may 27 2021 and uh, we also have a telegram channel for uh, all these uh, pdf and all these content now for the uh, channel's link you'll have to search for telegram that current affairs by dr jk So the first question is, what is the true name of black fungus? One mucormycosis, two mycosis, three tinea, or four cholera? So the answer is mucormycosis. Okay. Now this is a very famous news in all your uh, social media and even in the newspapers. Now remember, this is a fungal infection. mucormycosis is and it is a post covid complication and this especially happens in old age people and people who have diabetes mellitus and who are on uh, treatment for covid and who are on steroids now this has been declared as an epidemic okay so mucormycosis is an important topic because next to covid the most uh, talked about disease in india right now is mucor mycosis now the next question is who is the manager of indian forex reserves is it one sbi two rbi three finance ministry or four none of the above now the answer is rbi okay reserve bank of india okay the answer is rbi now why this is very important is because recently india's forex reserves touched an all time high so they will definitely ask you regarding some questions about indian forex reserves and it will be like basic questions so generally this indian forex reserves is expressed in us dollars now what do they use for all these forex reserves it has been used for payment for external trade and it also contains bonds bonds of other governments institutional bonds okay so many so many variety of investments are there in the indian forex reserves now the next question is a rainbow colored halo happened around the sun but there was no recent rainfall how did that happen so the first option is white light traveled a long distance the second option is optical phenomena light interacted with the ice crystals in the air uh, the third is it only happens when the clouds are there and fourth is none of the above okay now if you have been reading the newspaper regularly uh, many people would have uh, found about a particular picture where the sun with a halo around it and there was no rain okay there was no clouds nothing and it was not even winter 
and this happened during the summer time so many people thought this is because of rainfall but there was no rain okay it was clear skies so how did that happen the answer is it is an optical phenomena and the light interacted with ice crystals in the air remember it is summer time in spite of that there were ice crystals in the air so it is a kind of a rare phenomena and this particular photo was famous in social media and even the newspapers uh, sometimes in competitive exams you even get questions from the photos in the newspaper so they will definitely ask you about this rainbow colored halo so as i told you it is an optical phenomena and it recently happened in many cities now it is not like recently happened in many cities many cities got the chance to view it the next question is who is antony fossi this is a very famous name in uh, social media and even in the news so the options are founder of covaxin two who regional head three chief medical advisor to the us president and four israel's president now the answer is three chief medical advisor to the us president now this particular person is not an administrator okay remember he is actually a scientist and this scientist is involved in the field of immunology immunology is about your immune system okay it is about uh, your body's protective system and he has contributed a lot in hiv and aids research and project okay so he is a guy who comes often in the news and the social media and he speaks about uh, covid the corona and the vaccines so that is why you hear this name so often in the news Now the next question is a very standard and a traditional uh, type of question for your exams. Who is the director of CBI? Is it uh, one Subodh Kumar Jaiswal, two Rosama Anil, three Kateri IAS, or four Ravi Kapoor? Okay. So the answer is Subodh Kumar Jaiswal sir. He is the current director of CBI. now this cbi director question is often asked in many competitive exams so you cannot afford to go wrong and uh, so many times they used to ask who's the first cbi director it is op kohli okay now the next question is dome of rock the dome of rock is located in one india two bangladesh three japan four jerusalem the answer is for jerusalem and uh, this dome of rock has recently up, came up in the news because of the israel palestine issue everyone knows about this israel palestine issue and in the newspaper there was a photograph of this dome of rock okay so you can uh, sure shot questions will come from this dome of rock Now the seventh question is which country intercepted a airplane mid air and forced it to land to arrest a journalist is it one south korea to belarus or three russia or four china okay the answer is belarus everyone knows this a very famous incident and uh, an incident which surprised the entire world so we all know that uh, it is uh, a ryanair flight it was hijacked by belarus now why did they hijack to arrest a journalist and this hijack was not by a, a terrorist or some uh, common man or something it is actually by a military aircraft from belarus okay which uh, surprisingly took the flight by surprise and uh, they forced the flight to land in belarus to arrest a particular journalist so they will definitely ask you uh, many questions regarding this Bel ryanair flight incident okay Now the eighth question is: In which case Supreme Court ordered that right to privacy is a fundamental right? K. S. Puttasamy case, two Karak Singh case, three Shankari Prasad case, or four Kesav Nanda Bharati case? It is K. S. Puttasamy case. The answer is a very famous case for right to privacy. Many candidates cannot uh, afford to forget this particular case. now why this particular uh, 
question regarding right to privacy has come up recently in news is the new rules by Indian government to social media okay uh, so the social media has to say who created the message okay who was the first creator of the message so remember social media like whatsapp and facebook have said that we have right to privacy we cannot tell you like who created the message who posted the content so but the indian government now is saying that uh, is asking whatsapp and facebook to share the data the entire data who created the message and who who sent it and everything the ninth uh, question is very important for candidates who are aspiring uh, for the bank exams who appoints the md of banks in india is it uh, one triple b two rbi or uh, three parliament or four none of the above the answer is triple b now remember triple b is an autonomous body many people think it is controlled by the government of india but it is an autonomous body a very important point and it was founded in 2016 okay 2016 this particular triple b now triple b is nothing it stands for bank bureau body okay so this is the body which appoints the md of banks in india now the 10th question is which country has announced the pfizer vaccine for kids aged around 12 years one usa two israel three canada four south korea the answer is canada now this is important because uh, many people are speaking about the third wave of corona 19 okay it is covid 19 and they are saying that this third wave will target kids so they will definitely ask you about the vaccine for kids how kids can be protected against corona and the medicines which can be used for them thank you aspirants and if you like this video please do share this video with your friends and all the best for your exams